The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory <laughs> to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Truly I assure you, whoever does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs in some other way, is a thief and a marauder. The one who enters through the gate is shepherd of the sheep. The keeper opens the gate for him. The sheep hear his voice. He calls his own by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all those that are his, he walks in front of them, and the sheep will follow him because they recognize his voice. They will not follow a stranger. Such a one, they will flee because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Even though Jesus used this figure with them, they did not grasp what he was trying to tell them. He therefore said to them again, My solemn word is this, I am the sheep gate. All who came before me were thieves and marauders, whom sheep did not heed. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came that they might have life and have it to the full. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you again for the love in your hearts, the sacrifice to come and to be before God, the Good Shepherd, every Sunday, actual or virtually. So it's already the month of May. Tomorrow, May 1, Labor Day, Mayo na po. So May is the time for the spring, for flowers to bloom, full of hope. And so may all your wishes come true. Let's start nga May. Pakisabi mo sa katabi mo, May, ano bang wish mo sa kanya? May you be healthy. Sabi mo, may you be happy. Yan. May you have money. Yun, ano pa? May, may we have peace in the home. Yun. Wishes natin yan. May, tanungin mo na rin yung katabi mo, may, may reklamo ka ba? <laughs> may galit ka ba? O, oh, may problema ka ba? Yan. O, oh, may utang ka? <laughs> the joy of May is the month of Mama Mary. So today, we are filled with hope and with joy. And uh, may, may we always focus that we have a good shepherd. Meron pa kung kwan na dinig. Did you know that sa mga sugar centrals, you know where they make sugar? There are no ants. In sugar centrals, walang langgam. Yeah. Why? Sa dami ng sugar, unguarded, only, lahat ng langgam diabetic na mamatay. <laughs> so much sugar, unlimited, ants die of diabetes. What is the lesson? We need good shepherds to guide us, to lead us, protect us. The same po, in a home where there are no good shepherds, the children just
you know, they grow, but wala. So today, let's reflect on being a shepherd. All of us are shepherds. Mayroon ka bang shepherd? At least sana naman. Kung shepherd mo lang palaging sarili mo, teka muna, something's wrong with your life? Mga iba nga, nag-shepherd sila kahit aso. Yun na yun. I'm amazed how some people can spend so much money and time and efforts for their dog and that not shepherd. So, so anyway, mga kapatid, you and I must also have people we shepherd. Some more, some less. Pero lahat po tayo may shepherding. Don't forget that. So dear friends, we need good shepherds. What is a good shepherd? Uh, I call that LPG. A good shepherd is one who L leads. Siya po ang namumuno. Siya po ang nauuna. A shepherd dares, a leader dares to go ahead. That's a shepherd. May ibang leader, sige mauna kayo dyan, sige kayo na lang. Ako safety lang. That's not a shepherd. Sisters and brothers, for example, shepherd of the family, you don't tell your children, oh, mauna kayo, sige magsimba kayo ha, sige. And you don't go. How can you lead them? Lead by example. The leader of the band. That's what a good shepherd is. Number two, what does the shepherd do? The leader, P, protects. You see the staff of the shepherd? Or the bishops now. Nakita nyo? May ganon? May kawit? To protect the sheep. Hihilain niya and tatanggalin niya yung mga, lalabanan niya yung mga lumalapit that would harm them. That's the meaning of the staff to protect them, to lead them. And G, the leader, the true shepherd, guides. Anak, dito, mga kapatid, dito tayo. You know what you're talking about. You're guiding them. Sana po, be the guiding star of the people whom you shepherd. Parents, teachers, priests, leaders, government officials, tayo po sana ang maging guide nila. And being a guide means being an example. Be a good example to the children, to the community, to the people. L P G. Paki check mo nga. Are you one who leads? Check. Are you one who protects? Check. Are you the one who guide? L P G tayo ha. Keep that in mind. Kaya lang yung L P G nakakatakot din yan. Eh. Nakakaluto the L P G liquefied petroleum gas leader ka pero baka masyado kang liquid ibig sabihin you just go with the flow wala kang paninindigan a leader, a leader cannot be just liquid you have to be firm many times okay lang yan walang problema yan okay na lahat that's not leadership there must be values and principles we have to follow. P. Petroleum. Baka ikaw ay petrolyo. Instead of protecting, you can harm pag sumabog ka. Don't harm the people. Protect them. Don't harm them like a petroleum that explodes. And G, you're the guide. Baka naman ikaw ay hindi na guide. You're not guiding them. 
you're just gas. Panay ka lang gas. Uh, pautot. Whatever you call it. Empty. And all just air. Payabang lang, pasikat lang, but you're not really guiding. Lahat po tayo today, the Lord tells us to be leaders, to be protectors, and to be guides. Before the Lord today, Lord, we confess we still have so much to learn about being true leaders, true shepherds. Because many times, oh God, we do not really lead, we do not protect, we do not really guide. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. And may I address the parents? Napakahirap po ang role ng parents. Eh. Uh, as a leader, somebody said, as a parent, may transition. Ganito po yon. When the children were young, you are the, fir- the controller. The first is control. Children need control. So be there to control them. Malito, ito tama, ganoon. Then the children grow up. You too must grow up. From a controller, you become na a coach. Tuma- matanda na sila, control ka pa rin ng control. Then you have problems. You grow up and say, coach ka na. Anong ginagawa ng coach? Oh, baka pwede yan dyan. Dito mo pa. Advice, advice. Right? If you don't grow up, you'll have problems. So you grow up with the children. Hindi na pwede yung salita mo eh, talagang nagkakandara pa na sila. No. You begin to be a coach. And third, they you grow up, parents, you become na a consultant. Oh, when they consult you, okay, siguro maganda ito. You see, you have to grow as a leader. Grow. You're the leader of the band. Otherwise, magdi-disband kayo. Grow up, adjust. That's part of being a leader. And check today, what is a good family? Parents, again, all those in leadership or shepherding, let's check today. A good family is a family that is close to God. Dear parents, teachers, fellow priests, sisters, everyone, are we building family or communities that are close to God? Masasabi mo ba yung mga bata, mga anak ko, malapit sila kay Lord? This is one of the first responsibility. Yumaman ka na't lahat, pero baka nakaligtaan mo, you forgot the family. Success outside the home cannot compensate for failure inside the home. Some parents are sosyalan, sikat, mayab, everything. Wow, hinahangaan. But the children are scattered. Go back to your home. Bring them closer to God. Second question. Close to God. A good family is a family that is close to one another. Close ba kayo? By the way, there's no such thing as a perfect family. We all have problems. We all have difficulties. Mayroon at mayroong tinatawag nilang black sheep, etc. Well, you know, wala namang mga problem children eh. Problem child ka pa. Ito pa, their problem child. Mm, walang problem child kung walang problem parents. So it goes back again to leadership. So today, ask yourself, are you close? First of all, are you present to each other? 
Father, presence lang, pera-pera lang yan. Okay na yung mga bata, may mga gadget, may mga staycation kung ano-ano. It won't work. Because more than your presence, the children need your presence. Non-negotiable po yun, non-transferable. I'm always inspired to see a mother holding on to a child. That, that says everything. Mother saying, I am here. Ano man mangyari. That's beautiful. Be present. Be close. Talk. Don't presume. Everything is okay. I keep saying this because especially during the pandemic, Many young people become depressed, hopelessness, even suicide. And they tell me, Father, akala namin, everything okay naman eh. No, 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 don't presume. You ask, anak, kumusta ka ba? How are you? I am here, ha? Go the extra mile. Go make the extra smile. That's what a true shepherd is. Don't presume, please. Close to God. Diba? Close sure. Close tayo. Are you sure? Yun. Close to God. And third, ito po nakakalimutan ng iba. Close to the people. Are you raising a family that is close to the people? In other words, some families, wow, close to God kami, prayerful lahat. Cozy, cozy, nice, nice. Pero, people don't cannot come close to you. You're not helping people. You're far away, detached from the realities of life. People are poor. Please check this today. A shepherd raise a family that is close to God, close to one another, and close to the people. Sisters and brothers, you know, what is a leader? Please don't be a leader. In general, may mga leader, leader, leaderan. Leader for the money. Leader for the show. Leader for the display. But empty. Kailangan po. And how can we be true leaders? You cannot be a true leader if you don't listen to the shepherd. If you're not close to God, it's very difficult to be truly a leader to others. That is the bottom line. You're always counting the sheep. Why don't you talk with the shepherd? Listen to the good shepherd. I had a recollection of the BCBP in Subic. Uh, last three days ago, BCBP, Brotherhood of Christian Businessmen and Professionals. Okay, they are from Santiago City under the leadership of Tony and Zen Calion. I challenge them. Ito po, BCBP. What is BCBP? Sabi ko, BC kayo eh. BCBP. BC but prayerful. Lahat po tayo dapat, no matter how busy we are, busy but prayerful. Ano pa? Busy but patient. Yeah. Busy but personal. Keep that balance po between work and family and the heart. Ito po palagi kong sinasabi po mga kapatid. We're always focused on the work of our hands. The achievements of our hands. And many times, we forget the love in our hearts. The heart. So, be a shepherd with the heart. Businessman ka, professional ka, are you a doctor? Be a doctor with the heart. Are you a Paris priest? Be a Paris priest with the heart. Are you a mother? Be a mother with the heart. It's the heart that makes us good shepherds. Not so much the head. It's the heart. Can we see some hearts? 
Hello? Big heart. The big heart of the Lord. Let's do it again. Lord, you are the biggest heart in our lives. Thank you for your love, your patience for us. And now, the human heart. May I see your hearts? Yes, you have a heart. Don't forget that, please. Heart to heart palagi. Be your heart be kind. And the small hearts. Have room for people who are small. Don't forget them. Have a room for them. And do everything heart to heart. Let's try that nga. Ayun. Heart to heart. Ah. Yung mga senior, eh, paano ba yung... Ituruan yung mga senior kasi nagkakagulo-gulo. Paano ba yun? Ayan. One more time, brothers and sisters. Lord, we love you with all our hearts. Thank you for loving us. And Lord, we give to you our hearts. Bless our hearts. Help us to see the little hearts around us and do everything heart to heart. Amen. Amen. So mga kapatid, that's the secret. If you want to be a good shepherd, don't forget to be in the heart of God. Don't forget to have a heart, a human heart, and to see the little hearts. And always do everything heart to heart. And um, I like to end with a gate. Siguro mas maganda yung door, pinto. I honor people who are doors. You know why? They are not walls. Today in this Mass, let us thank God for people who were who opened doors for us. Sila po ang nagbukas ng mga pinto para sa atin, para makapasok. Mga magulang natin, binuksan nila, sige, anak, dito tayo, I, 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 ilalakad ko yan para makapasok ka lang. Remember the love and the sacrifices of our parents. They opened the doors. Our teachers, whoever, mga kaibigan natin who opened their doors for us. Thank you. And then, I think of people who, for example, sacrificed so that makatulong sa iba. Oh, look at some families. Nag-join ng U.S. Navy, etc. Mahirap. But because of that one person, bumukas. Nandun na lahat ang pamilya rin. Nakinabang. In other words, they made life better for others. Saludo po kami sa mga doors. Madalas, people who are involved in opening doors, nagiging dormat pa. Inapakapakan, nakalimutan, ayos na lahat siya, kawawa pa rin. That's okay. That's part of it. And will you please be mindful? When you go out, when you go inside the church, did you, did you see those who were ushers? They open the door and lead you to your seats. You don't even know them. The security guard who opens the door, the gate for you. This is all a part of being shepherds. Mga kapatid, sana po, I pray for all of us, especially to make a difference. Make a difference. In line with this, yung vocation. Good Shepherd, special prayers po for priests' religious life. Sana po, baging bukas po tayo. Sa nandito ngayon, parang may magpapare. Sino kaya? Tignan mo ngayon katabi mo. Baka yung batang hawak-hawak mo. Baka magpapare yan, magmamadre yan. Huwag mong ibulong sa mister mo, ikaw na lang kaya magpare ka na lang. Huwag na yun, iba ng bukas yun, klaro na yun. Diyan na siya. <laughs> oh, see, be open. May relate one last incident. When I was ordained, a visitor of our family were going up to Tagaytay, and he was saying now in her heart, Nako, si Father Jerry, 
papari na. Pero, sabi niya, in her heart lang. Yung anak ko, I have only one son. Nako, hindi ko pagpapariin yun. Baka isa-isa lang yun. Eh. Ganun ang thoughts niya. But when she entered the chapel in the Vineyard Seminary at Tagaytay, the first thing she saw was that big crucifix. And as she looked up, there was a voice that told her, How about me? I had only one son, and I gave him up for you. You know, she started to cry and tremble. She said, niya, na-realize niya yung selfishness niya eh. And she was saying, Lord, Lord, if you want my son, yes, Lord, okay. If you want my husband, sige, magpare na rin siya. Mag- the point is this, the generosity of the Good Shepherd should lead us to be truly generous too. Mga kapatid, salamat na lang. Mayroon tayong mabuting pastol. Sana po tayo rin maging mabuting pastol. Be good shepherds wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Be a shepherd with a heart. Amen, Lord. Amen.